Welcome to Panels and Borders. I'm Dominic, and I'm here to talk about Ghostbusters again. So some more news came out about the new Ghostbusters film. So this uh, article that I found here is talking about the production date. So I'll just go through the article and kind of give uh, some of my thoughts. Our Jason Reitman's Ghostbusters movie eyes late spring-summer production start. We're excited to learn more about Jason Reitman's Ghostbusters movie that was recently announced. The HN Entertainment has learned from a source that the new Ghostbusters movie is now eyeing a production start in late spring or summer. The new film, said to be correct, directly connected to the original 1984 film, will see a family move back home to a small town. Since the Paul Feig reboot was set outside of continuity, there isn't an expectation those characters will be returning. Sony and Jason Reitman are also currently casting two of the young leads, which include the roles a 13-year-old boy and a 12-year-old girl. The unnamed teenage boy character is described as a conspiracy theorist that is really into fantasy. The preteen girl certainly sounds like a Jason Reitman character, for sure. A science kid that has trouble connecting with others on an emotional level, understanding feelings and not being aware how hurtful her comments can be. A location has yet to be revealed, but British Columbia has been a filming location that Reitman has used previously for Juno and Tully. His recent film, The Front Runner, shot in Atlanta, a locale Sony likes to use on a regular basis for their films. However, upstate New York or New England settings for the film could see them use more of, a east, more of east coast locales. While there have been rumblings from original actor Ernie Hudson that the original actors may be returning, that has yet to be made official. Sony Pictures announced that it release sometime in the summer of 2020. So, uh, I'm not really sure what to think about this news, about the, I mean, that could work a teen, two teens as the leads, but I can't see this movie working if the original actors aren't in on this as somehow passing the torch or something like that. I mean, they got to get at least, I would think, three, two out of the three of them back uh, for this movie. Uh, if they're not in this movie, I don't see how it's going to work. How are they going to tie it to the original Ghostbusters if it's in the same timeline? Uh, to me, I think this will be another failure on Sony's part if they don't get the original actors back for Ghostbusters 3. Now, I know Bill Murray was always the sticking point on these films and never wanted to come back, so hopefully they got a good enough script that they can entice him to come back. So that's my only worry. If they, I can't see this working if they can't get the originals back. Um, other than that, I don't know how it's going to work with two teen leads. I mean, it could be a good story. Um, I'm, like, I'm not going to make any judgments or anything. Uh, yet, but one thing though is they have to get the originals back, in my opinion. They, if they want to do this passing the torch type movie, and if they want to make this into like a shared universe thing that Sony is trying to, Sony plans on doing. So that's everything I got to say in this video. Let me know what you think in the comments section, and I will see you at the next one. Thank you to all of my subscribers, and thank you for watching this video. And if you're new to the channel, like, subscribe, and share. And don't forget to hit the bell icon for notification when new videos are uploaded.